guys, this is Bleep from Nerf Gun Attachments. And this, this is the Nerf Doomlands Impact Zone Desolator. In the meteor's impact zone, an alien spore is changing harmless ash into deadly creatures. A lone hero enters the zone to destroy the spore and battle the infection. So in the box, you'll find the Nerf Doomlands Impact Zone Desolator, which is the blaster in the flesh. And you'll find white and black Impact Zone Elite Darts. The Nerf Impact Zone Desolator, the newest blaster of the Nerf Doomlands subseries. This is a semi-automatic flywheel blaster. It's powered by four AA batteries, comes with a 10 round custom banana style magazine and it has an integrated shoulder stock starting at the front here's your muzzle this is the tip of the barrel where the darts fly out when you pull the trigger there is no in strike attachment nozzle you cannot attach any kind of barrels to this thing whatsoever no tacticalness up front moving back from that is a small tactical rail up top and right here you can see a uh, transparent orange paneling here and you can see the internals of the blaster as it functions. On the opposite side though, it's just hard, opaque orange plastic, unfortunately. Right below that is your mag and your mag well. The desolator comes with a custom 10 round banana style magazine. Moving back from that, you have your main firing trigger right there and your pistol grip where the acceleration trigger lies. Across from that is your mag release button right here. Back to the top, you have a good size tactical rail running along uh, the whole back portion of the blaster here. This is a giant thumb hole type stock. Like I said before, the Desolator has an integrated stock. We'll talk more about that in my final thoughts and opinions though. Operating the blaster is simple, just like any flywheel blaster before it. It has an acceleration or rev trigger below the main firing trigger, and you hold that down to power up the flywheel. Next, just pull the trigger whenever you want to shoot a dart. Each trigger pull shoots another dart. Semi-auto. So let's do just that. Let's load this up with darts and batteries because if you don't have batteries, none of that is gonna work. All right guys, so the battery compartment is actually right here. It's held in by a single screw, so let's remove that right now and pop the batteries in. Next, let's load it with some darts. Desolator uses these uh, custom white and black darts and they look pretty cool. Look at that, I'd say there's definitely some more room. They could have easily made this a 12 round mag. What do you think guys? Anyway, just replace it back into the mag well until you hear the click. And now you should hear the signature purr of a flywheel blaster. Let's check it out. Yeah, baby. All right, let's do a quick firing test. That's about it guys. So what do I think of the Impact Zone Desolator? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. The whole blaster is super thin and lightweight. It is the New Age Strife. Amidst rumors, constant rumors of the Strife being phased out or discontinued, this is it guys. This is going to be the Strife replacement. 
and I'm not really too mad about that. I know some people are really gonna hate that it has the integrated stock and no barrel attachment points, but I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm rocking out with this. Obviously, you know me, I'd love to throw a Raider stock on here and call it a day. This one comes in a little short, like a Raider stock on the first or second extension, not full extension like I like it, but not terrible. And if you're a smaller nerfer or younger nerfer, then this will be right up your alley. This will be good for you. The barrel attachment, I mean, hardcore nerfers, hardcore. they're not really going to throw a barrel on usually. It does nothing but degrade performance, except for maybe the Spectre barrel. Performance of the Desolator is right on par with a stock Strife. It's a Strife. Now the look and feel of the blaster is pretty great. New paint job with a cool stock integrated, clear paneling, looks extremely nice. That's obviously gonna be debatable as it's pure opinion and your opinion may differ from mine, but I think it looks great. So right here it has this uh, little hand rest area that's quite comfortable. Nice, comfortable, smooth, very intuitive, along with pushing your shoulder into the blaster. It, it feels very good to hold it this way. And you can do that, you see that? Helps with mag removal. You slide down your hand here perfectly in one fluid motion and goes back in easy. But that's about it guys. Looks really cool. Functions very nice. Just like a Strife. I love these new custom magazines. The Doom Lens Double Dealer. Now this, I'm loving it. That's, that's starting to be their thing along with the clear paneling which is awesome. They also have custom mags on their stuff now and I can't get enough of that. So that was my final opinion guys. The Desolator is a win. It has my full purchase recommendation. If you get a chance to get this thing, get this thing. It's a strife, baby. Anyway guys, that about does it for my review of the Nerf Doomlands Impact Zone Desolator. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. Give me that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and dislike the video. Just remember to always rate the video, bros. Give me that feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the Desolator. Tell me if you're sick, I know you're sick. I know you're sick. Of Strife reshells, but tell me anyway. So <laughs> this blaster's awesome. That's it. Blee out. Thanks for watching.